Today's problem is 4-3a in chapter 4, starting on the bottom of page 193 and mostly on page 194. So the Carlos company, what we need to do is prepare an income statement, statement of owner's equity, classified balance sheet, and prepare the closing entries for this particular company as well as post-closing trial balance. So on the screen is the trial balance uh, or in the, the beginnings of the post-closing trial balance over here. Now first thing we want to do per the instructions is create the statements. So given a trial balance we always want to start from the bottom and go up to create the statement. So we always want to create the income statement first that consists of revenue and expense. So only these accounts that are highlighted. So if we go to the statements, so I've listed that here so since it's already in order for you, we just copy that over, which is here. So we have revenue of 46000 We total up the expenses, which are 47600 We have a net loss of 1600 So we take that net loss and plug it into the statement of owner's equity. So we start here. Now, on the trial balance, it lists owner's capital is 34000 However, in part A, it says that there was an additional investment made for 4000 thereby increasing it. So this end result in this balance sheet, the adjusted trial balance is 34000 So before the adjustment, we subtract out the 4000 and it was 30000 So we had the additional investment to get up to 34000 Now since we had a net loss, we carry that down with 1600 and we have to have a withdrawal. So that's listed on the trial balance at $7,200. So we need to include that here. So we total up these losses and the withdrawal is $8,800. And then we subtract out from the owner's capital. So my owner's capital as of December 31st is $25,200. And we take that amount and we plug it into the balance sheet. So I've listed the balance sheet items for us already. So basically our assets are cash, accounts receivable, prepaid insurance, which are our current assets, and then equipment, which is our long-term asset, and accumulated depreciation, which we subtract out from equipment. So my total asset balance, we just want to sum that. It's probably the easiest. It's 39900 and again, the owner's capital, 25200 We add that into the balance sheet. And my total owner's equity and liability section of the balance sheet, the sum of these three, which is 39900 So my assets equal my liabilities and owner's capital. Okay. So the second part of this is that we want to create closing journal entries. So the only thing we need to do here is that we have four journal entries. The first is to close the revenue account. So we debit service revenue to this account called income summary. And that was for $46,000. Oops. and we credit income summary. The next thing we want to do is close out the, in, the expense accounts. So we want to debit income summary, okay, for the amount of my expenses. So I can list these here. We know that total, grand total is 47,600. We list those here. Now these were originally debited, so since we want to close these, we want to credit them. And then the debit for the grand total of 47600 is on the income summary. Okay. Now, since we have a net loss, we already know that because we created the income statement, we want to debit capital 
for that loss. So that's the difference in this income summary account for 1600 and we want to credit income summary for 1600 okay so again that's just the difference between the income summary the debits and the credits so we have a credit balance of 4600 a debit balance of 4700 so we need to zero out this account so in order to do that we need to credit income summary for 1600 so these so this account will zero itself out. The last thing we need to do is close out the withdrawal account. So in the trial balance that was listed at $7,200, that's originally a debit, so now it must be credited. So we want to debit that to capital. And then we want to credit the withdrawal account, or it says owner's drawings, so we'll type that here, owner's drawings. For seven seventy two hundred. So those are our four closing journal, journal entries, and that closes out all the temporary accounts, which are revenue, expense, and owner's drawing. And the last part of this is to say prepare post closing trial balance. So the only thing we need to do here under the trial balance is that we list the permanent accounts. So those are asset accounts. And then accumulated depreciation is considered to be a contra asset account, so it's closed out. And then we also have the payables, liabilities are permanent accounts. And then we have owner's capital, which now, based upon our statements, has been reduced to 25200 So now, again, my debits and credits are equal in my post-closing trial balance, which only includes the permanent accounts for um, for the statements. So again, post-closing trial balance only includes permanent accounts, which are balance sheet accounts, assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Okay, And so that concludes the problem for 4-3A.